Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtor. Well, I'm back out at the uh, beautiful community of Bell Oaks in Boverde, Texas, and this is the part two video of Artists and Homes. Part one was the interview with the owner, Gabriel Sanchez. Hope you watched it. If you haven't, I'll go and put that link to it up top. Really great information in that interview. But anyways, this is part two, the tour. Let's go check out this beautiful custom home. I want to start off the tour by showing the side with the garage on it love the exterior of this house metal roof uh just a rock and stucco combination that they use absolutely beautiful and if you have a lot that can afford you to do one of these horseshoe driveways they are really really nice but just the level of detail that artisan puts in on their homes this house is almost 4,100 square feet. It is a model home, so they're definitely showcasing everything they can do. But just look at that entrance. That is really nice. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, Gabriel is a very attention to detail person. So he is very involved in the build process, which is what you really want your custom home builder to do. But check out this grand entrance. You walk in and you're just wowed by the 18 foot ceilings. Lots of nice light. Got the eight inch baseboard. And I was told that these windows are fiberglass. Uh, so they're a lot stronger than uh, what you normally see and very very energy efficient artisan home uses only two of the top rated builder I mean window manufacturers but yeah just loving the fireplace taking the tile all the way up to the ceiling very beautiful but this kitchen it does uh go from 18 to 12 foot ceilings but look at this island. This is beautiful. And I couldn't, wouldn't do this kitchen justice if I didn't showcase. They've got the extra storage in here, a lot like Perry Custom Homes does. And I wish more builders did do that, but I'm glad to see Artisan Homes doing it. But just a big, beautiful quartz countertop. Your dining room slash breakfast nook area plenty of space like i said tall ceilings in here got a place for a little wine fridge set up there if you need stuff chilled or if you red wine section right there surrounded by windows showing off the deck speaking of which let's head on out and check that out Love it when a builder takes a lot of pride in the back of the house as well. So you do see the stone going back there. Love the A-frame ceilings really giving the nice airy feel to it. And they got the steps going down. So if you had a uh, lot and you had a pool built on there, this would be so neat. It feels filled in with a pool. If you're not familiar with this community, we're currently in Bell Oaks. That's a... Uh, Blanco Road right there. We're at the very front part of the community. So if you want to see this house for yourself, just come to Bell Oaks. Right after you come in the community, take a left and look for the sign for Artisan Homes. It's neat. I need to find out who had uh, this built for them because uh, that's a pretty cool idea. All right, this door does open all the way up. As I'm filming this, it is June of 2022, and it's got hotter in Texas faster than it usually does. But yeah, we're already getting into the 100 degrees. We're having a little heat wave right now. Normally, this time of year, we're in the low to mid 90s. But yeah, last five years, we only had a couple days a year that we cracked 100, and now we're getting it just about every day. So would not have that open. All right, a little more about the kitchen. I love that they've got the uh, little display windows up there. Once you figure out what you're putting in 
in there. You're probably never gonna open it again, but it looks nice and it fills in the space for when you have such a tall ceiling in the kitchen. Now y'all know I've gotta to touch this microwave because I absolutely love having these uh, open from the top microwaves. Def I've got a almost 10 year old girl. She would love to be able to do stuff without having to crawl onto the countertop to cook, warm up her stuff. And uh, it just seems safer to me to be able to lift up, especially if you got a hot bowl of soup. They do, they can, because they're a custom home, they can pick get other appliances in, but this is the appliance they're using to showcase their model home. And uh, it's a nice brand. I love that cooktop. I love everything about this kitchen, including the sink. It's not a 50-50 sink. Well, close to it, but this uh, this side's a little bit bigger, but the sink's actually big enough you could put a skillet in. The view from here. Now, it seems like I'm missing something. I don't see a pantry, and I know I gotta show off the pantry or else I'll hear it in the comments, because that is a go or no-go for a lot of folks is how big the pantry is. Let's see about this. Aha, uh -huh. we have found the pantry. Check this out. Now, I wanna see someone complaining about this pantry being too small because this is nice pantry. It's even got a place for your backup refrigerator, which is very convenient. And uh, I did know this was already here. I was trying to make it funny. So the sales rep said they are really kind of building this kitchen around the pantry. And they just had an open house last weekend. And that pantry was a big hit. Everybody uh, really enjoyed it. All right, we have, do have the eight foot doors. This is coming in. That's the garage door right there. So this is coming into the laundry room and they went all out. On the laundry room, we got the sink, the beautiful tile, lots of space, and lots of cabinets and drawers. All right, this is going to be your mud room as you're coming in from the garage. <clears throat> now, this is a three car garage, almost three and a half car garage because you have this extra space here. Sorry, balloons from the open house. But these are nine foot garage doors. That is how Artisan Home builds these houses. And you always get those questions if someone has a big truck, will they fit? If you've got a nine foot door, that'd have to be a really big truck not to fit into that. So that's definitely not average size door. I think most garage doors are seven to eight foot, but these are nine. All right, let's go check out some of these secondary bedrooms. Oh, one thing I definitely want to point out that you don't see very often. When I did my first video tour of this house during construction, they were working on this. This is a level five uh, finish on the all the walls on the sheetrock. That takes a lot of work, and if anybody's in construction that knows what I'm talking about, uh, it's not easy getting these walls this smooth, but uh, that's one of Gabriel's things. He will make sure that the sheetrock is done right, especially if you're going with a level five sheetrock. You've got your open to the public powder room. And yes, um, this is a wallpaper. Sometimes these designer wallpapers, they are coming back in small doses. But that's a beautifully done bathroom. What's the space? Some of the powder rooms you feel real crowded in. This one is not. All right, I absolutely love this space here. This can be used as your really big office. You can tell they're doing it as a conference room, a movie room, whatever you want to use it as. And uh, let's see, I believe this is a closet. Yep, 
just a closet. But yeah, still the 12 foot tall ceilings in here. And it comes back to the bedrooms. We have one bedroom here that's gonna have its own private bath. And there it is. I love the tile work that they've done on here. Some really nice lights. Check out this tile here. They've a little, they had some fun with this. This is nice for this shower. Mud inset, taking the tile all the way to the top and then having it kind of wrap around the, the molding of it. Very nice. And these are, I believe, 10 foot ceilings here in the bedrooms. Yeah, that's the 12 foot. And now we're dropping down to 10 foot. That's kind of crazy to be saying I'm dropping down to 10 foot. All right, here's the other bedrooms that are gonna be sharing a bath. Once again, good size room with a very nice size closet in here. Love the herringbone tile. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Got the subway tile going all the way to the top in this bathtub combo, bath sh shower combo. Get it right there. And then, uh, as you notice, we got doors here. So either if you have kids in there, even the bedroom. They can shut and lock those doors and they would have access to their sink. And then the other person will still have access to just the shower and toilet section. So it'd be kind of nice to be able to shut those doors have your own private sink. But this leading into the other bedroom. Let's see how this closet's looking. Oh, same size closet as the other one. So yeah, if you had two kids, less bickering about who has the bigger closet. All right, we're gonna head back to the main living space and then on into the owner suite. But this house just really sets up nicely for entertaining All right, I mentioned that other space can be used as an office and we'll have a lot of people working from home. But we also have a lot of dual, two people, the husband and wife, both one in their own office space. But this has its own, another dedicated place for doing an office. So that other space could be used as a game room or whatever. And this could be the primary office. Very nice. A lot of technology in this house. So yeah, this would be your view. So you can still see everybody coming in and everybody approaching the house. For military folks, it's kind of nice being able to see all of that. Well, it's just ingrained in us. I want to see what's coming on. But then here's the owner suite. And check this out. This is big. Like, wow. Like I said, there's some more wallpaper and it is coming back in small doses. Imagine that being a whole house, that'd be overwhelming. But if you're doing just one wall, that's not bad. Really nice accent. So you do have access to your patio from the uh, master bedroom, 10 foot ceilings. And it's just a whole wall of windows here. All right, let's see. I can go ahead the closet space first. Now, this is a nice closet. 
lots and lots of space and it just keeps going. Yeah, you got your island so you can put your unmentionables in here and get yourself ready. And uh, sh plenty of shoes, plenty of hanger spaces. Yeah, this is a, a really big closet. All right, let's check out this. I love the accents that they put in there. A lot of care and design. I just recently started meeting some of the designers who help with this and I'm gonna be helping them kind of promote as well because it's a beautifully done house. Nice soaking tub. They got what I like to call the car wash uh, shower. You can go in and get all washed up and go out the other side if you wanted to. But uh, it does have the dual shower heads. So if you're trying to, you and your wife are trying to be efficient with time in the morning, you can. But just beautifully done. And a little toilet room there. But lots of space and linen closets, dual linen closets, and tons of drawer space. Nice little spot right there to put your war paint on in the morning before you go into battle. It's a beautiful bathroom. One last look of this beautiful main living space and all of its grandeur. Don't forget the size of that pantry. All right, that's going to wrap up the part two of the Artisan Custom Home Series. I really like this home. And if you haven't seen part one, the interview with the owner, highly recommend you do that. It is critical when you're going into something like this level of house to get to know the owner. Make sure you're comfortable with them and trust them because unfortunately there are some custom home builders that the owner gets a little on the shady side and... Uh, I only promote people that I believe in and from everything I've met from Gabriel Sanchez, he seems like a really straightforward guy. He's got a great reputation. So I highly check, recommend you checking out Artisan Homes. This is their model home located in the Bell Oaks community, Bolverde, Texas, just off Blanco Road, almost to 40, Highway 46. Uh, highly recommend it. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, subscribe to my channel and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. I am a real estate agent trying to grow my business. So if you're looking for a realtor, feel free to hit me up. The best way to do that is to click in the uh, description box. I'm going to have a link to my uh, calendar app so I can schedule a Zoom meeting with you or a phone call, whichever you like. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.